So now let's see how we can use the pinning feature for clot simulation inside of Blender. So to do that, I'm going to delete this cube right here. I'm going to press Shift A and I'm going to bring in a plane. Let me just go around and then resize this out right here. I'm going to hit tab and then I'm going to subdivide this. I'm going to go to subdivide and maybe add in 60 uh, divisions right here, just like this. So now what I want to do is let's say I want to pin uh, this item by the corner. So I want to select, let's say this pin right here and then this pin from the side. And then what I have is I have pin on uh, the ends, just like that. And now I'm going to go around into, let's say, for example, uh, the pinning right here. So I'm just going to go around into, uh, let's say, over here onto uh, the object data properties. And then on the vertex group, I'm going to add in a new group where the selected uh, vertices are pinned down. I'm going to assign it right here. So once I assign it, what I can do is I can go around into, let's say, for example, onto uh, the uh, properties now. So I'm just going to go around out of the editing mode right here. I'm going to go around onto uh, the physics properties and then I'm going to apply cloth onto this. As I play, nothing happens right now. Everything falls down, but I need to enable the pinning out. So I want the pinning to be enabled. So I'm just going to scroll down onto the cloth properties right here and then I'm going to go to shape and here in the pin group, I'm just going to select the group right here and press play and now you can see what happens. The pinned out uh, vertices are actually right there, just like that. So you can see that it is not smooth. So I'm just going to go to object and then let me shade this smooth right here. And you can see that this is how it actually looks. I can go around onto the beginning, press the play button and you can see that that is how you can actually go around and then pin out items just like that. And that is how you can uh, use pinning for clothes simulation inside of Blender. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.